All right, welcome to a quick video on my KOM attempt for the day. What ban pong? The segment begins just on the right here, so I wanted to get a decent run up. The first time I did it, I actually turned the wrong way. So if you can do this segment, you basically go around this sort of left hander and then turn right. So I'm, I'm going full gas for the segment. Uh, so you want to turn right here, not go straight on. And anyway, after this is pretty easy. So this segment looks very chilled. 1.1 kilometers, 8% average gradient. Just, you know, average, average sort of climb. Shouldn't be too hard. And the KOM was like 14k an hour, so I was like, well, I should get like way faster than that. Like for 8% gradient, I think I average like 20k an hour or something. But anyway, this is not a normal 8%. It's a bit like Doi Calm, uh, if you know that climb, apart from it's sort of on steroids because it gets even steeper, gets up to like 30%, um, and then there's a downhill. So it really does not suit the good average speed. But anyway, you can see here, uh, it's not crazy at the moment. Uh, I think I changed the small ring about now um, and just try to hold it. So my aim was basically to hold 400 for the whole thing. I was a little bit ambitious just because obviously there's the downhill part, but I really wanted to basically empty myself on the downhill. The downhill is not, it's a bit technical, so I didn't really want to pedal. I just didn't want to take any risks because this is the first time I've ridden the climb, so I didn't really know what was going on. I had a look, quick look on Google Street View, um, but it's already up to 20%, 10K an hour at 460 watts, so you can see it's already a big boy, a uh, big boy indeed. And um, I have a 36, 32 gearing, um, so that's equivalent to about a 34 on the front and a 32 on the back uh, if you're running compact. And that generally, for me, I can get up pretty much anything. Um, especially if I'm going full gas. But on this, I genuinely thought I was gonna walk at one point. So around these hairpins, I don't like to, you know, hug the corner. I like to just sort of take it on the middle. Um, and then I was just, you know, on these climbs, like your cadence isn't gonna be great. And I sort of accept that and I don't really mind that much. If it was a longer effort, then I would care a lot more about my cadence. But on a short effort like this, I really find sometimes the low cadence just does work just because you preserve a bit more momentum as well. That's the other thing. It's like, this isn't, the climbs, when you get a KOM, it's not the power, it's just the speed. So you just want to keep the speed as high as possible. So sometimes like this, I'm like, I'm really going to surge the power now to just to try and keep the speed up. So you can see I'm going up to like 450, 460 watts here to try and just keep um, myself going because it's, it's going to ramp up again. So around this corner, this is where it gets quite ridiculous, but it's... Um, it sort of flans off a little bit here, just change down the gears, and I always lose a little bit of power, and that's that's one thing I'm trying to work on, just trying not to like have that momentary, just like two seconds maybe, where you're not going 100%. And around this corner again, I think I was like, looked down 23%, and just saw like one minute 45 or something. I was like, oh God, I've got a long way to go. Um, and this is where it really starts to pinch, 28, 29%, and this is when it's like 6K an hour, 50 cadence, full gas, like 360 watts. Like obviously my power isn't insane here, but that's just because my cadence is so low. But around this corner, it reached 30, three percent and this is generally one of the steepest things i've ever done in my life i was really struggling on this but you can see here i'm weaving across the road a little bit i think i get back in the saddle now i'm really just trying to hold as many watts as possible but i'm cooked i went quite hard at the beginning uh, and you can see it's down well below 360 watts now um going 4k an hour 5k an hour i mean this is just this really did cook me so much um and this is where the average speed definitely slows down a lot and that's why the average speed for like the KOM now I think is like 15k an hour or something. Um, so the KOM was like five minutes before this and I got like 440, so it was good. Um, the guy in second place, he averaged like 400 watts, but that's only like five and a bit watts per kilo for him. So I was pretty confident I was gonna get the KOM. I just wanna try and get a big margin. I thought I might get like a four minute, like a minute margin, but nah, uh, I'm not, not that good yet. But you can see again around this corner, I knew this is basically the end um, of the steep part, and again, it's still well over 15%. There's a 700 meter section, which is 15% average gradient. It was absolutely horrible. Um, gearing, I, maybe I would have wanted a smaller gear, but I don't know, it's just one of those things where you're just gonna be grinding, like no matter what gears you have, unless you have like a 34, 40 or something. Um, so yeah, it's it's just one of those things. Anyway, around this 20% part, I remember seeing this thing on the left and remembering this is where it starts to flatten out. So I really sprint over, you can see it get up to 500 watts over this part, uh, and now it starts to slacken off a lot. The gradient always takes a little bit time to change, but we're now actually going downhill, um, and the speed starts to pick up a lot, you can see here. Uh, and on this, I mean, I'd never ridden it before, I had no idea if it was gonna be real technical. I'd seen people have reached decent speeds before. I think that speed might be a little bit wrong. I think we're probably more going like 30 or whatever. Uh, we reach about 40 Ks an hour down here. Uh, but you can see this climb, this is why it's 8% average. Without this, it would be so much higher. So I'm not even pedaling around here. And then I just know there's a steep wall to the end. And I just just launched as hard as I could. I wasn't really in great gears. So you wanna be pre-select your gears. I thought I'd hit like 600 watts here, but I just really didn't. And I think at this very top bit, I really just gave it gave the beans uh, as much as I could because it finishes pretty much here. So it's a real quick effort. Like 
it's it's odd because it's like you ha- think it's a five minute effort more or less, but it's actually more like a three minute effort with a little sprint at the end um, because the downhill you recover so much because there's no real point pedaling. And so the segment ends pretty much now. Um, and I managed to get the KOM, average about 370 watts for the whole thing and 395 watts for the first like three, three and a bit minutes. Um, so for me, at 60, 60, 61 kilos around that weight, um, it's about six and a half watts per kilo for the first bit and then just a little over six watts per kilo for the whole climb, uh, which isn't my best, but, oh, but you know, it's decent nonetheless. Uh, and I had a water bottle in there as well. Um, so anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, I've got loads of KOM attempts coming up because there seems to be a lot of good climbs around here uh, in Chiang Mai, Thailand. So cheers for watching and I will see you in the next video.